Hey, welcome to the Mad Montreal channel. Uh, it's a bit cold today here in Ottawa. But, you know, when you're job hunting and you turn the heat down, you get cold. Thus, I'm wearing the neck protection to keep myself able to speak. But uh, what's on my mind today? Well, because of my current financial situation, I was thinking about maybe it's time I start selling. <gasps> I know, shocking. Not my toys. But because I used to be a comic book collector, I got certain boxes. There are three boxes like this of comic books that, you know, maybe I should sell. Because, you know, when you have no income coming in and you have bills to pay, you need to find a source of income. Now, which brought me to the point of, well, in the comic book industry nowadays, comic books like this, you know, there was a time when you would go to a comic book store, you would go, hey, I got these comic books for sale. They would look at them, the comic book stores would judge them. They would look at them. They would say, okay, you know, based on the comic book guide value, it's probably worth this much, and they'd offer you a price for them. I'm not going to go through all of these, but, you know. And what they would do is they would base it on that. But the market's gotten to a point where there's been so much speculation that, for example, a comic book like this, Conan 14, the first appearance of Elric. Nowadays, if it's not in a plastic container that's GCC, GCG related, people won't buy it off you. Because, oh, it's not perfectly sealed. It's not rated by experts who gave it a rating. So they won't basically buy it off you. If they will, they'll give you a next to nothing offer. Like, for example, here's one for you. Giant size Spider-Man. Oh, yes. Look, it's the Punisher. Oh. Now, as you can tell, this is not in mint shape. A little comic books really are, unless you buy it and put it away right away. But it's in pretty good shape. I should know. Because I've had this for a long time. Versus something like this Fantastic Four, which is beat up. But the thing is this. To get this sold at a decent value, I would have to get it GCC approved. And that kind of, in some ways, defeats the point because you're trying to save money to pay your bills. You're trying to sell your collection, which you've valued for a long time. As you can see, I've got a few other comic books. And you have to spend money, send it away to get rated. Then, if they put it in a plastic container that no one can ever open. Because if you open it, you lose the value. Like, when was the last time you saw Sandman number one? Or even rarer to that, this is something all the people in Montreal have. Sandman number eight with blue ink printing. That's right, they made a mistake. Only Montreal people had it. This, honestly, is one of the best valued books I have. But the fact of the matter is that I have stuff like this that I'm thinking about selling. But I don't want to spend the money to, to basically sell my books. For example, like Teen Titans, Doom Patrol. Yes, I've got quite a few of these older books. I don't want to spend the money to basically get them rated. Because that defeats the point. And I think part of it is, if you went back in time, back when New Gods ruled the world, and Aquaman actually had blonde hair, Back in those days, it was the comic book stores who would basically evaluate your comic books. They were the ones who would basically look at Batman, for example, look at the condition and go, okay, it's in this ex this kind of shape, we'll give you this much for it. Nowadays, you go walk into a comic book store, if you can still find one that exists, they want to know if it's been GCC rated, or they'll say, well, we'll send it out and get it rated, and then we'll deduct the cost of that rating, of getting it rated before we buy it from you and that's sad but what's sadder still is that when you get to the point like me that you're actually thinking about selling your prize books that's it for now uh we'll see you again next time real soon and uh take care of yourselves stay warm if you can hold on to your collections if you can and uh, that's it have a good night